As you may recall, we went on strike, effective 15th November, and the university was closed on uh, 26th November, and therefore there has been no learning at Egerton University. Since then, we have continued to engage with the university management in what the union regards as dishonest nego negotiations that have only led to intimidation and efforts to subdue dons to return to work without addressing the grievances. As late as yesterday, the union leaders were suspended with little regard to due process. The university additionally wants the dons to bear enhanced workload without commensurate uh, increase in their salary. And on top of that, they have withheld our, sal our salaries, which they call deferred, from July 2020. And they have failed to implement the collective bargaining agreement of 20. 17-2021, which has been implemented effectively by more than 25 universities as ordered by the court ruling of uh, July, January 15, 2021. We are also disturbed by the fact that third party deductions as well as statutory deductions remain unremitted dating as far back as 2017 and don't are seriously distressed because banks and other financial institutions have started attaching their properties because of failed loan repayments by employer who religiously deducts the same through check-off. We wish to reiterate that we are agitating for our denied labor rights and that the strike is lawful and protected and our members shall not resume work until and unless their grievances are addressed as well as a negotiated return to work formula signed. I would like to say this. We have been on strike for more over two and a half months. We have held very many meetings, over 25 meetings with the university management. Uh, to an extent that at one meeting uh, where the VC was addressing workers, he actually formed a conciliation team which came talked to us but we have not gotten anything after that uh, in the last meeting we made a lot of progress uh, and we were just waiting for just one small thing and we'll uh, finalize uh, this uh, after that meeting university management communicated to uh, the staff about how far we had reached we have been waiting this far for them to call us so that we can finalize uh, our negotiations and then we can go back to work and our students can report. To our utmost dis uh, dismay, shock, instead of receiving an invitation to go to continue with talks, what they did was to issue all union officials from the chairman, secretary, about 14 of us, we received suspension letters we show cause why this criminal action should not be taken that we will involved in an illegal strike. We would like to say from the outset that our strike is legal and protected. It cannot be that the highest, the institution of highest running in the country takes almost three months to realize that a strike is illegal. They know it is legal and that is why they have been engaging us. We would like to say this. From 2017, Egerton University has not been paying workers their due emolument. Currently, for one year, Egerton University pays its workers 40% of what is due. We would like to say this, that the strike is still on. Our worker, our uh, members are not going back to class until we have finalized matters to do with this strike and a proper return to work formula has been agreed on. We are sorry, we regret this because we know our students, who some of them are our biological children, suffering, but we regret it to our parents and the public at large.